If you want to start using Givlet to its full capabilities, you should install a browser wallet. Whether you're on Chrome, Firefox, Brave, or any other browser, you can install a browser wallet to give you capabilities within the Giveth app, such as making donations and tracking all of your actions within the Give economy. You'll notice that when you go on the Giveth website and you go to sign in, there'll be a section here called sign in with Ethereum. This is where you can choose to sign in with one of the browser wallets. There are several options that you might consider. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get started with MetaMask, which at the time of recording this video, is the most popular browser wallet. In order to get started with MetaMask, just Google MetaMask and click on the first link. When you're doing this, make sure that you're on the actual MetaMask website to avoid getting scammed. When you're ready, just click on the website, then click download, and then here, choose your browser of choice. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do it on Brave, but the same steps apply if you're on Chrome, Firefox, or any other browser. All I have to do is install this plugin or add-on. Just click next like that, and it will add it to my browser. It will then take me to a getting started screen. I'll click get started. I'll say here that I want to create a new wallet. It'll have a disclaimer here just to keep me safe. I'll click agree. I'll choose some password. It's important that you don't forget this password. Otherwise, the only way to recover your wallet would be to enter your seed phrase. So I'm going to put in a password here. Agree, create. It'll have some information about making sure that your wallet is secure. I'll click next. It'll then give me a seed phrase. If I click here to reveal it, it'll give me these sets of words. This is a new wallet, so I can show it to you. These words are what will allow me to recover my wallet if I ever lose access or if I lose my password. It's important that you never share this with anybody ever. So no one from Giveth or any organization should ever ask you for this under any circumstances. The only time someone would ever need this seed phrase is if they're trying to hack you or if you're trying to recover your funds yourself. So never ever share this seed phrase with anybody under any circumstance. It's important that you write this down somewhere. I recommend to write it down on a piece of paper and put it in a safe place, or you can memorize this in your head and you'll always be able to recover your wallet if you ever lose your password or lose access. Again, one more time, make sure to never ever share this seed phrase with anybody. I'm only showing this to you now because this is not a real wallet. This is just used for testing purposes. When I click next, it'll then tell me to write my seed phrase in order. So I'll do that now. Keep in mind when you're actually recovering your seed phrase, you'll have to type it all out. You won't be able to do it just by selecting these boxes since every seed phrase is different. So keep that in mind. If you ever want to recover your wallet, you'll have to write out the entire seed phrase as it is. And one more time, never share this with anyone under any circumstances. Next, I'll click confirm and I'm all done. So I can click all done. And here I am. Now I'm connected to my browser wallet.